Um, I'm just going to say a few words in, uh, to start with, a few words in the beautiful Assyrian language, the Assyrian Aramaic language, which is one of the most ancient languages. It's been spoken for 3,000 years. Today, we have gathered together here in front of Parliament House in Canberra in order to protest against the situation currently facing the indigenous Christian Assyrians, including Chaldeans and Syriacs in Iraq, who have fallen under the ruthless control of the Islamic State, or IS. In the last two months, this terrorist organization has occupied the city of Mosul, the surrounding towns of Sinjar and Tal Afar, and the Nineveh Plain, which is considered to be the Assyrian heartland. The Assyrians are not strangers to this land. It's ISIS that are the strangers. The Assyrians are indigenous not only to Mosul and its surrounding region. They've inhabited it since both pre-Islamic and pre-Christian times for nearly 7,000 years. On July 17th, the IS delivered an ultimatum to the Assyrians of, Mos of Mosul, requiring them to either convert to Islam, pay the $250 a month jizya, which is a medieval extortion tax levied upon non-Muslims, or leave the city, or render themselves fair game to be murdered. This came as a process. It didn't come just by itself. First, all women and non-Sunni public servants were laid off their jobs, various businesses were shut down, and the non-Sunnis, so anybody that wasn't a Sunni Muslim, was blocked from receiving government rations. They were blocked from receiving food, so they had to go buy it. They've been, they've been laid off their jobs, then they have to go buy the food on the market, which is super expensive. So, then they give them the ultimatum, they have to pay 250 a month as jizya, and more if you're, if you're richer. Today, practically no Assyrians, no Armenians, no Yazidis, and no Shiites remain in Mosul. And those who have escaped the Islamic State have been robbed of everything they own as they are escaping. Additionally, Christian religious institutions have been desecrated, destroyed, or turned into mosques. Shiite mosques and other Muslim shrines have been demolished and the houses of all Christians and Shiites in the city were clearly marked. They have now all been confiscated and looted by the Islamic State. Such blatant persecution has not occurred since the brutal regimes of certain Islamic caliphates during the Middle Ages. We have even heard stories confirmed to us of Christian and Yazidi women being kidnapped and sold in the markets of Mosul like animals, of children being beheaded, and of groups of men wantonly executed. This is a modern-day Assyrian genocide. The Islamic State did not stop in Mosul, however, and continued its onslaught throughout the Nineveh Plain, shelling the Assyrian towns of Tilkef and Qaraqosh. As a result, we saw the emptying of exactly 28 Assyrian towns and villages in the area as they fled for their safety in the Iraqi Kurdistan region. Now, with nearly a million refugees, a quarter of whom are Assyrian, we are faced with an unprecedented humanitarian disaster. With 5 to 10 refugees dying per day and the threat of a cholera outbreak, which will kill many more. We are therefore asking the Australian government, as a member of the UN Security Council, we are asking the United Nations itself and the international community to stand up 
and demand an end to the killing and persecution of Assyrians and other ethnic groups in Iraq. We are asking the international community to help protect the Assyrians as they did in 1991 for the Kurds in Iraq after the Anfal campaign. As they did in 1993 for the Bosnian Muslims escaping genocide. As they did for the Albanians in Kosovo in 1999. As they did for the oppressed South Sudanese in 2011. We need a safe haven in Iraq for the Assyrians of the Nineveh province in order to protect them in order to protect them from the ensuing genocide being perpetrated against them. Assyrians are a stateless ethnic group and have no country of their own in order to seek safety and refuge. We envisage that this safe haven will eventually form an autonomous or self-governing province within Iraq's federal system maintaining the country's territorial integrity. We don't want to split Iraq up because we are the indigenous people of Iraq. We also support the creation of Iraqi military and police units in these areas which will be manned and commanded by Assyrians and other local ethnic groups. They need to be trained and armed in order to liberate, guard and defend their areas from the terrorist threat. We are also asking the Kurdistan Regional Government or the KRG to stop claiming and occupying Assyrian lands in the Nineveh province. as well as to stop torturing and oppressing Assyrians on their own lands in Iraq. We are willing to work with other major power players or stakeholders in Iraq, but we are not willing to see our lands in the Nineveh Plain swallowed up by an ever-expanding Kurdistan. We furthermore demand that Iraqi and Kurdish authorities stop regarding the Assyrians as a religious minority. Stop calling us Christians. We are the oldest inhabitants of Iraq and as such the Assyrians should have the same rights enjoyed by the Arabs, by the Kurds and others in the country. So I want to thank you all for coming today and I want to welcome all of you to stand with us and help to save one of the oldest cultures still in existence. Thank you very much.